let's go ahead and take a look at what's going to happen on P Valley coming up this week, and we'll summarize it, and then we'll get into the other stories. All right. I'm all about that last drop. Folks, your family, don't you make me bear the pink without my bottom bitch. So this your last dance for real, for real? What's about last dance? Lord, we ask that you bless the pink tonight as we try to go out with one last bang. I've been looking for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Larry, after seeing quick snippets, Break it down for me. What did you see is going on in episode seven? Keep in mind, there's only two episodes after that left. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how everything turns out with uh, with Mercedes and, and Autumn Knight, you know, because they seem like they've gotten tight. You know, I mean, it's it's you know, it's one of those things where it, it, it seemed like it was just a straight money play where. Mm -hmm. You know, Autumn went and got Mercedes out of jail, not necessarily because she really had some heartfelt feelings for Mercedes, but because she needed a, a person to help her with her hustle because it was too much for her by herself. But it's starting to feel like maybe there's something more there, something actually growing there. So I'm hoping that's the case. So I'm curious to see how that's all going to turn out and especially what's going to happen, how Mercedes might actually be able to help Autumn when her <laughs> dude comes around and, you know, and... um. And starts and starts doing whatever, whether, whether he tries to get put hands on her or tries to expose her, whatever it is. I mean, on some level, you know, I know that I know Di I think it was Diamond or the other dude, or maybe not Diamond, the other dude that was that was going back to selling drugs. That dude saw that flyer of of um, of Autumn with her real name on there, and he was like, "What the hell?" We saw that like at the last scene. I think it was the last episode. And yeah, so when yeah. it comes out that she's not who she is, I don't think that's going to be a surprise for Mercedes because Mercedes knows that she's out there pulling a scam and hustling and doing something. And so, mm -hmm. you know, and, and she's helping her keep her money up and get right. So I think she's just not really going to care about that. And I think what we're going to see is that, that, you know, Mercedes is going to become Autumn's ally. I mean, you know, Uncle Clifford, he already knows something that's real. You know, he knows something's up because he knows her ID is fake. So I think the people that matter most already know that she's not who she is it's just going to be really the reveal of who is she so mm -hmm. okay we'll um see. well they're, they're building it up as if that's going to be the last night of club pink now ladies and gentlemen we clearly know that that's not going to be the last night of club pink it's just it no. just can't they've been renewed for a new season and they're already talking about a third season so what i want to know is who is going to bail out Uncle Clifford? Is it going to be Autumn Knight and Mercedes? Is it going to be Corbin? Because they haven't shown Corbin in the last episode, but we know Corbin, well, they did show him, but they showed him in a light where he basically got pumped by his brothers. Yeah, they and haven't then, really showed him. And what we do know is that even though he got punked by his brothers, it doesn't really matter because uh, what's-his-name went in and changed the paperwork from right. a sale to a lease. So it doesn't Andre. even matter that he got punked. In fact, the fact that, that he was able to get all those signatures on there when they forced it to be like, a, you know, um, when he got all those signatures making it, thinking that it was actually a sale, it actually helped Corbett in the long run because his, his brothers were never going to sign those documents for a lease. And now mm -hmm. all those signatures are on there. So... You know, it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. I think I think that it's probably going to be Autumn and Mercedes that end up that end up coming to the rescue for, uh, you know, for um, Uncle Clifford. And the reason why I think that is that writers like to bookend stuff, and because Uncle Clifford sort of came to the rescue of Autumn when she first got there, she she didn't have anything, you know, she didn't even have an ID. She's up there and was able to dance and make money, and so I think that, you know. Now that he needs some help, I think it's going to be bookended where she's going to be the one coming to to his rescue. So, but we'll see. Uh, and and we cannot forget the storyline of my homegirl, the Mississippi, now done linked up with Little Murder to promote her social media and his music. How is Uncle Clifford going to respond to that? I think he's going to respond just fine to it, and it could be that somehow they save Pink. 
And then we've also got to consider exactly what is it about Autumn Knight's husband? Who is he? What is he going to bring to the table? What is going to be his crazy past? How is it going to tie into where Autumn Knight is now? And I'm with Larry. They Autumn Knight has a new family in Mercedes, and that family bond began when they was in there talking about their children. That's right. when that bond started. That's when it kind of went from okay, bitch, to okay, you my sister. So I'm looking yeah. forward to I'm looking forward to this Sunday to seeing it and see where they're gonna take us and just see if we're getting some of these predictions correct. And we cannot forget about that pink gun that is in Autumn Knight's locker. That she right. told Mississippi, hey, if you need to, go in there and get it. And now if y'all right. think that they just going to let Mississippi baby daddy go out without a fight, you can forget it. You right. can just forget that. And we're also going to have an angry mayor on our hands. He's going to be angry with Uncle Clifford, and he's going to also be angry with a secretary who went and ran her mouth about everything going on with Uncle Clifford. So this right. might be an episode with a whole lot of fireworks, Larry. I'm curious to see how Diamond might play into all this because we know Diamond has some feelings for Mississippi. And now that she's blowing up like she is and now she's hanging out with, you know, with a little murder doing that whole promotion thing that they're doing. I wonder if if she's going to tell Diamond that it's not real, if Diamond knows that missed that little murder and, and, and Uncle Clifford have their thing going on. So he's not really worried about those two mm -hmm. or if he's just going to or if he's just going to feel some sort of way and just sort of leave Mississippi alone. And then when she needs him, he's not really going to be there because he's going to have disconnected. He's going to, you know, she's got to be on her own. So I'm curious to see how that relationship is going to play out. Uh, you know, I, we'll see. Something in me Ted, says that Diamond might get killed. I hope not, but I just got this feeling somebody's got to take the tragic loss this season, my friend Larry. Somebody has got to take the tragic hit, and it's just a matter of who is it going to be. It could be. I don't think it's going to be Autumn Knight's um, husband. So it's, it's either going to be Diamond or it's going to be Mississippi's husband and baby daddy. One of the I mean, other. I wouldn't be surprised if it's if it's Mississippi's baby daddy. And I also wouldn't be surprised if it's that, if it's Uncle Clifford's partner, the dude that's hustling and selling drugs again. Because okay, yeah. people don't mm -hmm. like drug dealers. People, you know, it's easy to like a bad guy. So once he gets back into doing the bad business, it's easy to, to say, okay, well, he got what he deserved because he was out there selling drugs and now he's dead. So mm -hmm. I can yeah. see I can see that happening, but we'll, we'll see which way it goes. It's going to be a fun ride either way, I think. Yes, yes, yes. And so ladies and gentlemen, having said that, we will be dropping reviews, and we'll have Pay or Wait Sharonda back up here Monday to discuss this show along with Lovecraft Country on Monday. You don't want to miss that live stream.